Hi, I'm Neil Cobb from uh, NAU showing you how we install the, our standard uh, pit ball unit into the ground. And I'll go over some of the um, uh, material that we use in our, in our pit ball trap. It, the pit ball trap consists of uh, one and a quarter PVC pipe cut to length with a borosilicate glass tube. This is important glass, makes things fall in easily. Um, and then we fill the, uh, uh, the test tube up with uh, typically propylene glycol, uh, low tox propylene glycol, uh, or you can use uh, uh, RV uh, red um, glycol. Uh, you can use ethylene glycol, but it is poisonous. These traps are really designed though to prevent things from drinking it, uh, but ethylene glycol also uh, denatures DNA. So we like to go with propylene glycol, even though it's it's uh, more expensive. Uh, we have a cork that we use to um, um, cap the uh, pit bull tubes, and then we have a PVC top uh, cut in place and held by wire that prevents uh, rain and animals and people from noticing and disturbing uh, the pit bull trap. Now, the first thing that we do when we uh, before we put a pit ball uh, trap in is we tap down with a hammer and a small piece of rebar to make sure that we don't hit rock or a root that we really can um, uh, dig in this one place. And then once we've decided that we can um, dig a hole, uh, we use a two inch soil auger from Forestry Suppliers. Uh, I have uh, one extension handle, but you can, and these all break apart and piece together. You can uh, eliminate this, but it does make it kind of a small unit. So I've already dug a hole here. I'll dig a little bit more just to show you. This is makes it really fast and easy. And in decent soil, uh, you should be able to dig a hole um, within a minute. Uh, now, the other thing that would be good to have is uh, a screwdriver or something to tap out the soil. Uh, in between your um, um, auger digs. Now the other thing is, <coughs> I uh, typically like to have a put my mound of soil right next to the hole because I'll use that to backfill um, into the um, uh, trap. Then you simply place your pit ball in the trap, and this is too deep, so I have to already fill it in uh, a little bit more little bit more there <clears throat> and uh, then I take the rest of the dirt and like I said tap around <clears throat> so that it's nice and secure these traps will stay in the ground for um, easily three or four years uh, and you can come back every year and just um, open them up again new. I'll put this top on. Once it's in place, I simply remove the cork, put the top on. Uh, you can use any color top you want. We use black because it's really hard to see. So these are wonderful. In, to use in places like national parks where you don't want anybody to know that your pitfalls exist. They're great to use in high activity areas uh, where you have a lot of people around because they won't notice or disturb these. And these traps are really great um, to prevent animals from disturbing them. Uh, but, you know, a bear that wants to dig it up will dig it up. But they typically don't dig up our traps. Um, and then I typically, we have specially made boxes for carrying the pit ball tubes um, uh, around. When we pick them up, we just pull one pit ball tube out and replace them with another uh, pit ball tube. And that's the basics for how you install a standard uh, pit ball trap that we make here at NAU.